Hey everybody, I'm Zell Sonic. Welcome back. Well, the Killing Floor 2. Well, the seasonal event's over. <sighs> you know, Twisted Christmas season's meetings. Ugh. I was this close to beating all the seasonal event achievements. Part of me is like, Note to self, don't try to do a, don't do a collab with somebody who wants to help you out play around with you in this game during a season event. Part of me is like that, but at the same time, it's like, just, I don't you really blame the other person I was doing it with. Yeah, Dark Scarecrow. <laughs> By the way, if you still haven't checked out Dark Scarecrow's channel, go check it out, go do that. I mean, this video was supposed to be part of the seasonal event for Kung Lao 2's Christmas seasonal event, but since it ended, it's confusing when people say through this date. And makes me think when you say through when you say through this date, like through January 18th, it makes me think the event's still going on on January 18th. Like the event, like, oh is this the last day to to do anything with the event or is that literally the day the event ends? Because when you say through that day, it makes you think it's still going on through that day. It's still going on on that day, as if that day's the last day. But no, it's literally over that day. That was literally not the last day. The last day was the 17th, and 18th is when it's over. Apparently, that's confusing every time I read that. But I know it sucks. All I needed was two more achievements during the seasonal event. You can go check out the previous video before this one to see what I'm talking about. But, yeah, really. Sucks. Couldn't beat it. All I needed was the... I can remember the names of them, kinda. Rumble? Ah, no, I don't. I did before, but now you, I guess I have to go back and watch my previous videos to see what the names were. Something workshop was it Rumble Workshop? That was the last achievement we have to beat Krampus. Beat Krampus on San in Santa's workshop on a hard or higher difficulty, and roast their chestnuts, which is beast beat 25 bosses. I needed one more boss to be, and I wanted that last boss to be Krampus. That way, I get roasted chestnuts and Rumble Workshop, I get both achievements, if it's called Rumble Workshop, I can't remember, if I get both achievements at the exact same time after beating Krampus, as both of those, both of those achievements have to do with defeating a boss, but, but one is defeating a boss, just defeating bosses only, that's where it's chest less. and the other one is just defeating, defeat a boss on a map on hard. You're basically trying to beat the map on hard as you basically defeat Krampus. On hard or higher difficulty. I almost beat that. I had so much time trying to beat it. It's so difficult. You know, sometimes I think the Killing Force series is one of the most unforgiving games out there. Because <laughs> it's like, that's the thing about limited, limited time events. Once the event's over, you missed your chance to ever be able to unlock or get this thing. They kind of did a similar thing in the first Killing Floor game, where there was a there's a Halloween skin, like the Grim Reaper Halloween skin. I was lucky enough to get it because I played so many hours trying to unlock it. And I think, of course, that's the strategy behind these limited time events. Is they they say it's a limited time. And once it's over, you have longer chances, you'll never get a chance to unlock this thing ever again. Something like that. They do that. They do that apparently in their Killing Floor games. <laughs> and it's like, man, they're, that's just as unforgiving as the game itself is. Because the game is so difficult, when you play on higher difficulties, it's so unforgiving. You die, you lose, go back to level one. Well, survival, just for a hard game. I mean, yeah, so many unforgiving games or die-hard games, you know. But yeah, it's just oh my god, so disappointing! I couldn't get the battle axe. I wanted to get that battle axe, but I hear some people in the tripwire community forums are saying that there's a chance they may bring back the battle axe in their Halloween event. But yeah, seasonal events over, as you can see on screen here. It's not festive. It's 
It's normal Zed. Normal Dr. Ha Hans Volt Volter on screen here. Normal. There's the guy with his battle axe. I wanted this guy's battle axe. Well, this is the abomination. It's no longer Krampus. Well, abomination is Krampus. Krampus is abomination. You saw the battle axe over his shoulder? Yeah. Wish I could use that thing. At least I got a little short, short chance of experiencing what it was like using that weapon before Dark Scarecrow left the server. <laughs> when that, that was when I tried playing the uh, shopping spree weekly event. This thing here. Bobble Zeds. I beat this. Bobble Zeds. Oh my god, I beat it. Like, yes! If you didn't see that, you go back and check it out. But, yeah. So. Yeah, and just, I guess the point of me doing this video was to just talk about how this point I am that I didn't get a chance to get the final X. It's kind of similar to, oh, during the Endless mode, when when the Endless mode first came out, it was brand new. They had an event for it, where you can unlock skins for the new character, Dar, when Dar was new at the time. But people who unlock Dar now, after the event is over, you all you get is this exoskeleton. You don't get any of the skins you can get for them for that were only there for the season a bit. Are they ever gonna bring back the opportunity to get those skins for Dar? Doesn't seem like it. See, that's what I'm saying about unforgiving. I understand the strategy behind bringing something that's limited and not ever getting a chance to get it again. The whole strategy behind that is to try and make, try and force players to come play your game because <laughs> it's a limited time oh play your game otherwise you can't play the game you can't play this a bit again because it's a limited time but oh good yeah. i guess there's one way one way of looking at it of the franchise of why or how that's one strategy of trying to get people to play your game like yeah. yeah it's a hard game it's not easy it's not friendly there's nothing friendly about this game it's a horror game Whoa. Come on for you, but this is not festive on stream, but anyway, another point of this video was I was gonna just open up, not, I was just gonna craft my tickets, like, you know, vault, the vault here, inventory, in fact, let's go to the vault first. Look at that, yeah, you saw Dar on screen, yeah, and there's Dar, and there's a salt costume, yay, hey, I got no crate, no, dude, I got that crate too. Oh, nice. You gotta play this game a whole lot. That's why there's only that much toss. I see people with so much toss it fills up to the very back of that room. Some people, excuse me, play this game a lot. Yeah, I don't play a whole lot. Toss won't crate, granting we need to wait until the next game we start. Okay. How'd I get all those, all those toss that you saw me got? Those were all tamed during the seasonal event. And of course, through this, the fi 500,000. If I said that right, bobble heads was extremely hard. Hey, they're bobble heads. They have bobble heads. Who's that? Hey. Yeah. So, all right, let's go to inventory. I have a lot. See, there it is. Crafting. So, I don't want to look at all the other stuff. I can get distracted like I did in that last video during the summer season event where I kept talking about random stuff. <laughs> It's time to my disappointment of how to get all the seasonal event achievements. Now, Dark Scarecrow was just trying to help me out with the event, but there are times where he wasn't able to. Now, that's why I'm like, don't to sell it, don't try to do a, a collab with someone during a seasonal event. But you know what? No, forget it. was fun. Yeah, it was enjoyable. I, I like doing that with somebody with them. And it seems like something that may actually happen again someday. When I play a different game, it may not just be Killing Floor. Yeah, we'll probably do another collab in the future. Or we're probably gonna do that pretty often. Because it was fun. Fun doing collabs with them. And he thought so too. He enjoyed doing it with them. He thought what we do doesn't... Doesn't, like, interrupt what we're doing. It seems like we were compatible collabs. We make a good collab. We good together when doing a collab, apparently. Yeah, that's what we both thought. It was fun. So, 
All right, let's open up this Krampus tree ticket. That's, that was another point to this video. Look at that, I have 15. Why well, I have 15 because I've been playing this game so many times. I have so many multiple attempts. I'm trying to beat those freaking weekly shopping spree thing in Santa's workshop. That was a hard, hard seasonal event. Still so, still disappointed that I can't go to the battle X1. I mean, it's just a video game, and none of this stuff is real. It's just cosmetic or virtual whatever stuff. And you probably won't ever be able to get again. Sure wish I could get classic Dar, but since that event over, that event was over during the spring, the spring season. I guess that's like their spring season event. The endless mode during the spring, where you. You unlock Dar and unlock Dar's new skins. I'll get his exoskeleton that you don't have them yet. Alright, let's just craft these. Confirm craft item. Crafting this item will use its resources and cannot be undone. Confirm. I have 15, so I got like 3 to craft here. Let's see what I get. Okay, a freaking teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. Teddy bear back there. I wish I was opening this with the seasonal events still going on, but whatever. You clippable from the gear menu compatible with most characters. I don't know, when I use this with Dar, that's how I like playing as Dar. I wish I could get the classic Dar skin. I want that, but there's no way I can get it because they probably won't bring it back. I don't know. See, that's what, that's what I'm saying about Unforgiven or Limited Time. Yeah, nice way to try and force players to come play with me. You can understand what I'm saying, but Overwatch kind of does it too, actually. Yeah. Like, they did one with Diva, Diva Color Challenge, or the Bad It something challenge with Anna. That was recent. Yeah. Confirm craft. Crafting this item will use resources and cannot be, un be undone. Yeah, let's open up another one. Another one. <laughs> Oh, that music dude is this like an epic because it's purple right god i keep i keep being unsure what the color the quality of the color means this is purple's epic that i see in most games is considered epic like in the watch loot boxes and i guess blue is rare and gray is just common equipable from the year when you come out with most characters it's a freaking turkey oh turkey oh it's a hat so I'm walking around with a turkey on my head. That's funny. Underdone. Oh, it's underdone. It's undercooked. That's hilarious. And look at that. Come on, you craft it. Recycle. I don't think. I don't want to risk recycling it. I like that. It's funny. Okay, next one. Here we go. So I wanted to craft these during the season, man, but it's over. It's over. Uh, uh, uh. What is that? What is that? You see that? That just looks weird. Well, this is freaking well. Great, I got this Z backpack thing here. Wow, great. I got the Z backpack. Jeez, Christmas Z backpack. Three Christmas player thinks that's it. Seriously, why I freaked out and thought it was disgusted by this? Because I think it's weird. Every time they see someone else using it, I'm like, dude, that looks funny. And just awkward. What are you doing with the Z riding on your back? Like you're carrying it to victory? <laughs> Kinda like what I did with with Dark Scarecrows. Ah, there's uh, there's this other player on their team named Mini Me. And they're like making jumps and not him carrying the whole team. Yeah, his back is totally sore. Go check out that video actually. It's in the weekly event. It's too funny. But yeah, like how many times I see people with this this item on their back, that backpack. It's just funny. Oh, look at his face. And they're holding a candy cane. That's dude. Oh, clipable from the gear menu. Come have one of those characters. Cool. Okay. There it is right there. And yeah. He was like, can't because I don't have enough anymore. I thought having 15 would be enough to use all the true tickets. So yeah, that's it for the Christmas. Christmas tickets, the Krampus tree tickets. Stupid Krampus. 
stupid Krampus. I've eaten a lot of Krampus's lair. That was like the first Christmas, first twist of Christmas event. That was part of a part of a live stream. Actually, I did a live stream off of the the first Christmas seasonal event. Twisted Christmas seasons. It wasn't called. It wasn't called Twisted Christmas Seasons Beatings. I'm sure sure it was just called Twisted Christmas. If I'm not mistaken. But that was during the last stream where the new map was called was called Krampus's Krampus's Lair. A lot of people love checking that out. I have to list that up at the top of my YouTube video in the description for people to see that. I keep mentioning that video last stream in some of my past videos, but I never list it anywhere in those videos. So I hopefully I can do that in this video. Just like I always mention Dar and reading Dar's bio. How I've already read it and I can read it. If you want me to go read it, you want to see me read it, go check out the or unlock over yourself you can go check out my video where I did endless mode. Which didn't come out very well the quality because again that was done while I was live streaming. So was Krampus there, done while live streaming. They're pretty funny, but yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's it for Krampus Street too. It's you know, special effects. I don't play this game a lot. And yep, if you remember my previous videos, I still have to do Josh Vault Unlock Crate. I have 16 of these. I still have to open up all these Josh Vault Crates. When am I going to open up these Josh Vault Crates? Josh Vault Crates. When am I going to open these up? Seriously, when? Oh, well, I got this Horizon Supply Crate. You need a key to unlock these. Neon key. It's just like. Jeez, Valve does the same thing with Team Fortress 2, where, hey, you need a key to unlock this crate. A key to unlock a crate, a box. It's a crate. You unlock crates with keys, which are two to 40 minutes. Funny. Yeah, Valve does the same thing. Loots. Yeah, whatever. Dodge won't unlock crate. I gotta open that keys up. And, when will I ever get to a video of me opening up all these prints? I have 16 now. Whenever that will happen. A video, but... Anyway, yeah, that's it. I believe that's it for this video. Ah, look at this weapon skins. That was for the Halloween event, and sadly, right here... Would have been the whole, Would have been the Christmas Battle Axe weapon skin. Too bad I couldn't get the... Battle Axe during the Christmas event. I'm still bummed up about that. I still can't just get over the fact I couldn't get the Battle Axe. Oh well. But some people say you'll get another chance to actually get that weapon again. I mean, things like the Rogue Redeemer and Zed Welder or whatever it's called. Those are part of promotions, crossover promotions from other games. You get those weapons by purchasing other games. Like, was it Chivalry? Illegal Warfare or something, and another one was Road Redeemer. It's a weapon called Road Redeemer. You buy those games and get those weapons in this game, basically. But in this game, this is the first weapon that's part of the game and not from buying up the perks of another game. That's how you get those two weapons I already mentioned. One's a sword, and one's a baseball bat that looks similar to Lucille. Vegan's baseball bat looks like it. Well, oh, it's called the Road Redeemer. It's, it's Lucille's cousin, the Road Redeemer. It's what I said, but whatever. Which, hope so. I guess can't wait to get the. I guess can't wait to see what they have in store for the next event they pull up. Whether it be the summer event or one during the spring season event. Uh, the spring season event. Do they even do a seasonal event in the spring? I know Rocket League does with St. Patrick's Day. But, alright. That's enough. I've been going on and on about in this video. Store. There's badass. This is badass Santa. God, I like the suit. It sucks that it's over now. And this thing is hard. This is part of the weekly suit in the seasonal event. Sucks that it's over. I couldn't make, what, not, You think I'd make a video of me doing all the daily achievements here? Like I would do that. I just did one weekly and I got this thing. It was like tiny terror and maze bottles that freaking hard. But so yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. It's, yeah. 
I was just talking about things that I did or went over over the whole Christmas suit event, which is over as you can see in this video. This is normal Z stuff. Normal killing floor, no longer festive killing floor. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's it's like after January 18th as we record this video. It's, it's not December anymore, it's January 2019. New Year's, past New Year's Day. Ugh. It's just hard, hard trying to complete certain things when you're, ha when you're busy with other things. But what, what am I doing? Did I say that it was different than you? Alright, yeah, yeah, it, it is. Okay, we're done. No more talking at this point. I'm done. See, I don't know when to stop at whatever I'm doing. That's the, I guess that's the downside of not being able to give up at what you're doing. So people think, oh, it's good to not be able to give up. It's good to just keep going and not give up. Well, there is a downside to everything, though. Know, but whatever. Anyway, so that's it for this video. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you liked what I got from those Krampus tickets and such. Can't wait for the next for the next season events they do in this game or any other game I'll check out. Yeah. So let me know what you mean with all this down below. If you like this video, you can hit the like button up to you. Or if you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe if you want. It's up to you, of course, right? Yeah. So Yeah. With that said, that's it, really. So with that said, Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah!